Budget in the Akai, buy one the Majalisa Tazotei Apili, and Koma, I want a budget agar Kashin Kasa. Come on, you choose she can ask you. Yap Kapun Chushi. Come on, she any budget na trillion, I should not talk. Miss Ali Chena. A man would make a kid dig, same with your budget in the Mojan Kusang trillion, I shouldn't be any, so I got quite trillion Uku, I in a siki. This is what sparked Tuesday's plenary at the Senate. And soon it became obvious that this is not your everyday kind of plenary. Senator Solomon Nadiola fired the first salvo, citing relevant sections of the Senate rule on how his privilege and that of the entire Senate has been breached by the chairman of the Northern Senators Forum, Abdul Ningi, through an interview he granted to the BBC. My privilege has been breached. Also, because I am one of those that participated in the passage of the 2024 appropriation bill. Because preparation of budgets is not only the sole responsibility of the Senate, it includes the Federal House of Reps and even the Executive. But as Chairman chairing the Senate Committee on Appropriation, who actively participated in the preparation of this document, and for what has transpired within the last three days, my privilege has been breached. To prove his point, he reads the transcript of the interview, which was originally granted in Hausa. It was said that there was a budget of 28 trillion, but what was passed was 25 trillion. So there is a 3 trillion on top. Where are they? Where is it going? So we need to know this. There are a lot Senator of Adiola disagrees with the major components of the interview especially the one bordering on the size of the budget passed. He goes on to explain the reasons why some figures are not captured in the budget breakdown. There are agencies of the government whose budget and their details are not contained in this document. Agencies such as the judiciary. The judiciary budget details is not contained in this document. The National Assembly budget details is not contained in this document. The INEC budget details is not contained in this document. The man at the center of the controversy is given a chance to defend himself. Let me concur to about 80% of the translation read out by Senator Yai. I think they have done a fair job, except on some issues that they could not understand. First, I have never said somebody was blinded. Secondly, I have never said the budget was studied. Mr. President, as I speak to you, I do not know your take on pay. You know my own. The senators also have a grudge to pick with Senator Kawu from Kanu State for posting Senator Ningi's comments on the Northern Senators' platform. This is what he had to say about his action. There was a first at so many platforms which I posted it to our Northern Senators' forum. Northern Senators' forum. There was no place and nobody had my account and I stand to be corrected. Nobody hacked my account. <laughs> Following the submissions by Senators Ningi and Kawu, the situation in the Senate became heated and rowdy. If we want to go into those issues, excuse me, if we want to go into those issues, yes, so I think that, I think that, I think that Senator Ningi, Senator Ningi, the Senate President had to invoke the Senate rule to restore order. Uh, Distinguished Senators, take your seat, take your seat, please. From then on, the Senators made several interventions on how to handle the matter. It is not about Ningi now only. If we are talking about Ningi in this room, but it is about all of us outside. This thing has happened. It has happened. And Ningi was wrong. I told Ningi in here that he made a mistake. 
that he stand up and apologize to us first, then apologize that, look, this even figure that I'm looking for, three trillion, is here. I'm sorry for the embarrassment I've called. That is what I'm suggesting. What distinguished Senator Abdul Ningi, who I respect so well, planned to do or set out to do was tantamount to a civilian coup, which has failed. And in doing this, he wanted to use the platform of Northern Senators Forum. I am a senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I am not a senator of the North, nor am I a senator of the South. I am a Nigeria senator. These rules we agreed on in the first two, three cities, that we will operate irrespective of accident or birthplace, and even the factor of religion or any of those primordial sentiments. And the Senate now decided to even take a committee measure. We can reduce it to three months. Some senators, however, do not want anything short of the big stick. My first prayer is that the Senate should suspend Senator Abu Dhanigi for an initial period of 12 months. Suspend his entitlement and privileges as senator of the 10th Assembly or 10th Senate and make him stay away from the National Assembly during the period of suspension. As moved by Senator Jimo Ibrahim, I amend that the suspension period be reduced to six months. At the end of the day, the, the Senate agreed to suspend total. Senator Abdul One. Ningi for three months. That the civil Senator Abdul Ningi of Baji Central having posted falsehood through his interview on BBC House Service and other media, B, and is hereby suspended from all activities of the Senate, including being found within the prisons of the Senate for the next three months. Two, the civil senator Abdurrahman Ismaila Kawu is also hereby cautioned from posting or reposting unverified or falsehood on his Facebook or Northern Senators Forum to avoid a breakdown of law and order. Is this a true reflection of what transpired in the Committee of the Whole? Immediately after the pronouncement was made, Senator Ningi was led out of the floor of the Senate by one of the surgeons at arms.